Hey guys, this is Logic Scripts again with a tutorial. Uh, I have gotten myself an AT200 guitar from PV with Antares Autotune technology built in, so I decided to make a script to control it easily from within Logic. Uh, here's how you set it up you create a new track with external MIDI, use the external instrument plugin, uh, make sure to output MIDI to the port to which you have your Y cable connected. Um, I think this is an Omni device so you should probably you could probably just select all here for channels um, and then we're good to go. Okay, let's rename this AT200, give it a nice guitar uh, icon and add a scripter to the chain here. I have saved this as a preset uh, ATG control version 1. Okay, There are two uh, user settings inside the script whether or not to show advanced parameters and uh, to trace the changes that you make. Uh, I'll start off showing you this in, in the simple mode. Okay. <laughs> So I got the guitar hooked up, uh, just need a plectrum, there we go. So now you see I can go through all the stuff here, first of all let's tune the guitar. Uh, let's go to uh, standard tuning. So we can, you know, um, control all the controls that you can do with fret control or all the stuff that is possible to configure in this guitar. Um, now we have the custom tuning, of capo, select the pickup modeling. This is like the tone knob, uh, this control, doubling if we want. So here we have all our 12 strings and stuff. Uh, now in simple mode you can also recall your presets um, depending on which uh, version of the, uh, the add-on pack you have. You have um, I think a different number of presets that are available to you. Uh, I have the full pack, so I I added all 64 slots, but uh, if you have a lower tier pack, maybe you don't have quite as many slots. Check your uh, documentation to be sure. Uh, now the save preset is pretty relentless. It will uh, overwrite your settings, so um, yeah, use it with caution. Now if we check the advanced version of the, if we just change the show advanced setting to one here, we run the script again. Now these, uh, this version has a bunch of more uh, settings so you have to bring the window out a bit to the side to see everything. Uh, Quite honestly, I'm not sure how this startup new pack works. I've just made it to work as the manual says, but um, in the default mode when it loads, uh, it doesn't do anything. So I haven't really dared to mess around with it because I'm not sure how this works. So use this with care. Save preset is the same as before. Global transpose, you can transpose your guitar down. Uh, these are half uh, steps. Pitch bend is how your pitch bend is configured. I think this one works the best at minus two plus two. Uh, global gain, the, well, the rest of the settings are self explanatory. Uh, the global gain works a little bit weird. Um, I'm not sure it actually the function works as uh, Antares intended, but 
it's there anyway. Detune, you can detune the whole thing, sense. Uh, and the string gain, the individual string gains, I've set them all to be to default to plus 6 dB because that's where I have the least difference between the regular mics and the auto tune version of the guitar. Uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, once you have this, if you want to get fancy, you could of course go into smart controls and map your smart controls to um, to control all the settings for the guitar in smart controls instead and use automation and stuff. But this works pretty nice. I mean, uh, let's go to special tuning, go acoustic. Uh, not sure that this does anything in the acoustic version. Uh, doubling 12 string. Now switch my uh, amp to a flat setting. So that's pretty much it. Um, let me know if you have any questions. The link is in the description below. See you soon. Bye.